Hello everybody and Merry Christmas and welcome on into another Lego Christmas set review. Today we are checking out set 10308, the Holiday Main Street. And honestly, this set has been so, so fun to build. And I will tell you why in a second. But I just want to take a look at this box right here, which is something new that Lego actually has never done before. To my knowledge, at least, which is this little logo down in the bottom right corner right here. It says one to four with some pictures of people. And what this means is that inside the box, you will have specially assigned boxes or instruction sheets to these certain sets. No numbering on them with the order of you build them in. They simply just have this on the inside. You open it up, it tells you exactly what boxes or what bags your set will be. And Honestly, this is amazing. It goes into a bit more detail right over here with the Build Together logo right here. So honestly, this is amazing. It comes with four sections. You have the train. You have the, I guess, little walkway with the mailbox and the Christmas tree. You have the toy store. And you have the uh, music shop. And yeah, I'm just going to go into closer detail. Let's start off with the smallest portion of this set. Kicking it off with bag one, here we have the first build, which is, I guess, this little walkway, maybe little train station waiting area with a mailbox here. And honestly, this is an amazing first build. Honestly, if you have a little sibling like I do, you can give this bag to them and they should have no issue with putting this together other than maybe the tree here, which you can help them with, which I did do. But yeah, it's a honestly pretty simple build here. Here you have the casual Christmas tree that Lego usually does here on a stand right here comes off pretty simple here. It is connected using this red rod, which just slips into the stub right there. And here you can see a little present scattered around the bottom, going with small one by ones to the large two by twos right here. Love the colors on this. The tree is pretty simple using the standard design that Lego usually does with the four copied slopes on each side, as well as they use the magic wand piece as the star at the top of the tree. It doesn't have any colored lights, which I do enjoy more than the uh, regular ones. I feel like the colored lights may look a bit more festive, but you do also get these golden stars all decorated throughout it, which I think is really, really nice. Bag one also comes with these three minifigures right here with a little boy looking really, really nice here. I believe that torso print is new. The hat is also new, I believe. Not the pr not the mold, but the print itself with the red and the tan there. Here we have a lady with two shopping bags, one in a dark blue and the other in a teal cyan. Blue. And the last girl having this cool beanie in dark red with the black hair, carrying a yellow bag and a red bag. All these characters also have dual molded faces right there and right here we have another one they all look really really happy on the other side except for this guy he's kind of shocked as you can see right there but onto the main build and get it because it says main street yeah that was a terrible joke here we have the main centerpiece of this bag which is of course this little strip right here with a clock on a lamppost piece right there with Main Street right there, this sticker shows up a lot throughout the set. As well as right here, you have a little mailbox with some snow coming off the top there. I think it looks really, really, really nice. I would have liked to see a bit of snow coming maybe off this side. I feel like it goes towards this side a bit too much, but the clock build on this lamppost is really, really nice. It is elevated by this two by two dark tan brick right there. And the clock build is pretty simple, all the same clock print on each side there as well as you have some holly right here, which is really, really nice. Also, this piece right here is a little bar piece, and I think they did really, really good there, making it look like an actual lamppost. On to bag two, which gives you this amazing looking trolley that went a bit too far there. But as I said, yes, the Main Street uh, sticker shows up a lot throughout this set here. As well as you have these two amazing stickers on the side here, have a toy full day as well as a advertisement for H Jolly's Music Store, which both of these stores show up in this set, which I think is amazing attention to detail. But yeah, here you have the trolley. It is actually pretty big here. Looks like there's a little character that doesn't come in the set attached to it. Did not see that. Um, 
pretty actually advanced design here. You have the train wheels, of course, which you can actually add a train track to this set, as well as get a uh, motor as well as light up brick, which you can use to spice this up and make it actually look like a train, gives it light as well as powers it, which you can then put on a track and it actually moves, which is pretty crazy. As I just did here, the roof does come off and there is a little light up there and the, it is held in place with these two um, red one by four, what do you call them, plates just put on there on each side, which they fit nicely into place like so. There's also some vents up top. As well as right in here, you have a bench, and we'll take a closer look at the interior right now. The interior is pretty simple here. You have some seating area right here. Obviously, it's not going to hold any minifigures, but if you do have some more people, you can stand them up there. As well as you have this really, really cool lever right here, which is to stop, I believe, the trolley, which I think is really, really nice attention to detail as well. As the one figure you get in this bag is the conductor here looking very, very, very nice. I believe the face print is new. The torso print, to my knowledge, isn't though. Very nice, simple minifigure that I think just makes it 10 times better. As well as you get this nice bench, which actually uses a new building mechanic that I've never seen before. It actually looks really, really good. Of course, you can sit four minifigures on there, which is actually the perfect amount of adult characters that you have in this set. Windows do surround the entire thing as well as you have some more holly there and you have a few wreaths around it. Here you have one over here as well as on the back here. The lights are different to my knowledge, I believe. This one is the red, so I believe that one is the back with this one being the front. And as I mentioned, this is from bag two and that's actually where you start this uh, build actually spans throughout three or two bags, sorry. And yeah, so this will bring you up to bag three right here, which is actually pretty, pretty nice. In bag four and five, you then get H Jolly's music store. And I'm gonna guess this is H Jolly right here. This is the minifigure you get in this bag. A really, really nice and simple minifigure brings me back to actually the classic Lego City, which is really, really nice. So putting him aside, you get this really, really nice two story house and music shop build, which I think actually looks really, really nice. We'll go into a bit of further detail with it in just a moment, but I just want to take a second to admire the front of this. I love how they use the candle pieces along the side here as the drainage pipes. That actually looks really, really good as well as you get that very nice display right here with the guitar and the violin, I believe that is, as well as you get another wreath up there with some more holly and vegetation around there, as well as you get these two lights out here as well as you also get these green flags, which I think is really, really, really nice as well. As unfortunately this isn't printed, it is a sticker, but I just love how the sticker looks. I love the little curb there with the piano keys. The roof is also really, really nice with this snow pattern. I think it looks really good with just the way it curves. It looks very, very natural. And yeah, that's all I can really say about the front. Starting at the bottom of the store here, you have, of course, the main area, which is the music store here. You have the guitar and the violin held up by these droid arms and a just clip with a plate attached to it. Pretty simple, but I think it just looks amazing. You also have a little keyboard on the wall right there, as well as a little cash register with the drumsticks in this barrel here, as well as what I believe to be the, uh, the thing you hold to play the violin. And in the back corner here, you also have a saxophone, which I think is really nice, with a holiday concerts sticker right there onto a two by three flat tile there, which I think is really nice how they always love to include these as the posters. I think they look really, really good. Of course, on the far, far wall, you also have a drum kit, which I think looks really, really nice. It fits in there pretty compact, but it works really, really good. You also have a newspaper showing, I guess, a advertisement for the store. Nothing too much to say about the bottom floor other than that. You have another one of the violin sticks on the wall there as well as the door actually uses these gold pizza slices as the door handle which i think is actually a really really nice piece right there but going up from there you have the main living quarters it isn't much but i think it works really good for what you get in the size you have a mini kitchenette there as well as a little dining area with a teacup as well as some cookies 
under a candle light, which I think is amazing. On attention. the wall, you also get a picture of the gingerbread house, which I think is amazing attention to detail, as it is an homage to another Lego set, which I think is just so fun. On the left side of the room, you get this nice small kitchen in clay blue, which I think is really, really nice. You get a little teapot there, a little oven, as well as two storage cabinets, one below the teapot there. Nothing is inside, but you can always add pots or pans in there, as well as up here that open right in there it is really nice and of course on the top it is tiled off so it is nice and sleek and for the final build of the set here you have santa's toys and games which is the build that will span you from bag six to bag seven and this again looks really really good this section of the set also comes with this minifigure right here using a very very nice hair piece in the dark reddish orange hair color and honestly i think this set has the best look for the exterior out of the entire set. I love the dark red and the dark green trim that it has on the set itself right here as well as again the sign up here just looks amazing. You also have some more holly in the kind of strands right here going along there which I think is really really nice as well as you have these snow covered steps up to the door which looks really great. In the store's windows you can see a little bunny teddy bear right there as well as a little poster for the store and a little train right there. The wreath and more holly is also a really nice inclusion as well as the architecture for these window frames looks amazing with the snow there as well as the little bird which I actually didn't notice until now. The snow up top is also really nice but I think the one from the build before is a and bit spinning better. it around this is the look of the inside and let's go into more detail starting off with the bottom floor. Starting off with the toy shop here you have a pretty simple build kind of close to the music store with one side being where the cash register is, as well as some more display. You have a clock on the wall here, as well as just some more toys with a building, some rollerblades, I don't know what that pink thing is, maybe gum, and a little robot, which I think is nice, as well as on the wall here, you have a nice vent. The poster is held up by a bar piece spanning along the windowsill right there, which hides the bar, which I think is a really, really nice attention to detail. And the upper floor, which seems to be a little bedroom which looks incredible. You have a small carpet there being in teal and orange, which I think looks amazing as well. As you have this bed using a sideways building technique using these cyan modified one by two bricks, which looks really, really good. You have a Santa's wish list right there, which I believe might be this little boy's room, as well as you have a lamp there, as well as a little teacup. Onto the left side, you also have a little tiny Christmas tree with a few gifts under it, which I think just completes the whole build. Anyways, there you guys have it. There is Holiday Main Street. Honestly, if you guys haven't picked this up already, I would totally do so as you get six amazing minifigures as well as four very unique builds. Those you can also share throughout your family. So if one day you want to build something and the next day your sibling wants to, that is perfect. You don't have to worry about going into any other bags for missing pieces. They are all found in the designated bags. And it's also just a great set that you can build on your own. Honestly, it gives you a unique building experience for every build that you do. But anyways, guys, if you did go on to enjoy the video, please make sure to subscribe and like the video as it helps me see what you guys like to see as well as it pushes me out to more people that would like to see my content. Anyways, guys, Merry Christmas. Thanks.